Hey, it's Professor Des. For this video, I did some research on different knife steels because I'm not a metallurgist or a knife maker, and I wanted to be able to share with you some of the things that I learned about knife steels, like what makes one steel harder or sharper than another. For this video, I'm only going to focus on five different traits. The first one is strength, which is how hard is the steel? The second one that I want to talk about is corrosion resistance. How well does the blade resist rust? The third trait that I want to be comparing is the edge. So part of that is how fine of an edge or how sharp of an edge does the blade get. But part of it also is once it has an edge, how long does it hang on to it? The fourth trait that I want to be considering is wear resistance. So how much abuse can the steel take? And then the last trait is toughness, which is a measure of how brittle, brittle the steel is. The more tough it is, the less brittle. So that means that it won't snap. Now, I'm comparing just 10 popular um, steels for knives. Six of them are going to be stainless steels, which means they have chromium, more chromium in them, which allows them to resist corrosion better. Four of them are non-stainless steels, so they have a lower chromium content and are more susceptible to rust. Here's a chart comparing some of the steels and their compositions. Here's my stainless steel chart. Right here, I have some of the elements from the periodic table of elements back in high school chemistry, but I only picked five of them because these five actually pertain to what makes this different blade steels behave differently. Like carbon, that actually will make the blade stronger, just like my first point from before. Chromium increases the corrosion resistance for the steel. Vanadium will help, it, help the steel get a sharper edge. Manganese will increase the wear resistance for the steel. And molybdenum, that actually makes the steel tougher. I only picked six different steels for comparison. And the way I'm going to do it is the ones with fewer pluses, that means that they have a lower content of whatever the molecule is. And the ones with higher pluses means they have more of that content. So to kind of compare, 420HC, you can see, it doesn't have very many pluses. It doesn't perform as well as some of the other ones with more pluses, but it's also cheaper. 440C, AUS8A, they're both pretty similar actually, and they're great everyday carry knives because of how they have pluses across the board. Now the N680 is a unique steel. It's, you can see right here, it's got a really high chromium content has a couple of other things in there that are not on this chart, and it is a steel rated for to be uh, to do well in environmental against environments like high salt or high corrosion. C154, that's another one of those steels that's going to compare well to 440C AUSAA. It's in a lot of uh, pocket knives. Benchmade uses it in a lot of their blades. And if I had a little more dough, I would have more knives with this S30V because you can see it's just got loads of pluses across the board, but it's also more expensive. Now, I know that was a lot of science. And if you're still with me, now for something I hope you'll really enjoy. Welcome back. Now, this is the very last chart, so hang in there. Non-stainless steels. What makes them non-stainless is the fact that they have less chromium. And you can see, I set up the chart the same way as the other one. We've got carbon here that's going to be relating to the strength of the steel. Chromium is that corrosion resistance. Vanadium helps the blade have an edge. And manganese will relate to the wear resistance. Molybdenum will help make the blade tougher. Right off the bat, you can see these, uh, these symbols are going to relate differently to those stainless steels. Some of these, some of these steels don't even have, like, these steels have negligible amounts of chromium. That's why they're considered non-stainless. The weird one in this situation would be the D2, which is what this Benchmade Adamas is made of. And it's chromium is just on that border of what's considered stainless. So it's going to have great corrosion resistance in comparison to any of these more carbon blades. What's cool though is the K-bar is a non-stainless steel and it's 1095 with a coating. So it's really 
it's going to be a strong blade because it has that strong carbon in it. And it's pretty similar to these other steels here that have those lower chromium contents. Now I know that was a whole lot to go through. Thanks for sticking through it. I want to talk a little more about how blades are made, how the knife steel goes into the whole knife, but that'll be for another video. And so for this one, if this wasn't really what you were into, I know it's boring, it's science, it's part of my life. Your ubulus connects to your upper dorsimus. It's boring. Science, it's part of my life.